Belita lives in Chiboli community in central Zambia, where she is raising her two young granddaughters, Exilda and Mary. Ten of Belita's children and her husband passed away due to various sicknesses and accidents all too common in Zambia. It was an impossible burden to work through the grief in her life and soon Belita found herself sick and eventually in a crisis, spending days in bed and unable to move. Not long after, she became responsible for her two young grandchildren. Teresa is a part of the volunteer care worker team that was mobilized by Hands at Work from local church partners and trained to seek out and bring the hope of Christ to vulnerable families like Belita's. During that time, I really felt bad because I really wanted to be taking care of my grandchildren, but instead somebody had to care for my grandchildren and me. I wish that I could take care of my grandchildren. Teresa and the care workers began visiting every day to encourage Belita and build trust with the girls. They brought food to the home, spent time praying together, and helped seek medical treatment for Belita. I felt relief because those grandchildren came here because of me hoping that I was going to be taking care of them. But then I got sick and couldn't take care of them. I want to thank God for the people who surrounded me because they lifted the burden from me. Belita began to improve. Soon she was walking out of bed and able to better care for her grandchildren. As she came out of physical crisis, Belita opened up to emotional healing and the care workers included her in their relationship group for other caregivers like her. Being surrounded by care workers and some of the other caregivers has been really helpful for me. Not just to me but even to my grandchildren. They have really helped me to be who I am today because they have spoken into my life, encouraged me. This relationship has been more than a family to me. The family was healing, yet they remained dependent and vulnerable to the future challenges that they would certainly face. The family needed a way to secure more of their physical needs. She loves farming, but her age and health doesn't allow her to do much. But we want to thank God because though she struggles with finances and putting food on the table, she is hardworking. When she is feeling strong, she makes sure that she does something to provide for her family. She has the heart to work hard. The care workers supported Belita's dream to secure land of her own to build a house. And they worked with her to ensure she had the agriculture inputs and support she needed to start growing and harvesting her own small crop. It is a physical sign of the hope growing in their lives. This has been a hard year for me and for everyone. And yes, we gave a gift to Belita. But what is happening in her life is also a gift to me. It has given me the gift of hope because her life shows me that God is still working. Even in the storms of our lives, he has not forgotten us. He is still with us.